Welcome to this look at some new information and visuals in a blog post of the 20th of October regarding the Platinum Expansion Edition Log Transport featuring yarders, winches and containers. So, the blog post says, one of the many reasons why forestry is such fun is the logistics. You may or may not agree with that. With the upcoming Platinum Expansion for Farming Simulator 22, forestry and the options for transporting logs are getting an upgrade. The whole of logging is getting an upgrade. Let's take a look at the means of transportation when playing in the woods of Silver Run Forest. Now, what I will say is, I'm not sure at the moment, nothing really has been said, unless on forums and stuff it has been, but about whether any of this is backwards compatible. We know it's going to be usable on Silver Run, but I don't know about other maps... We'll kind of see as we as we go forward. Drag your logs with winches. Moving long logs of chopped down trees through the forest and manoeuvring them between other trees can be a hassle. That's where winches come into play. They exist in two forms, as attachments for your regular tractors or so-called multi-purpose tractors like the Fansult PM track, a specialised form of tractor that is ready to go when you need to move logs. Forestry winches are contraptions designed to pull heavy logs with the use of wire ropes. In Farming Simulator 22, you simply attach the rope of your chosen winch to one or multiple logs and pull them with your vehicle to a more spacious collection point. Now, I know the question that's probably going to be asked, will the winches work on other things? The question is that is, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure if you can't attach those winches to vehicles, trailer hitches, things like that, people will probably find very ingenious ways of using logs on their vehicles to attach a winch to to pull things along. Whether that'll be a thing, I don't know. We'll see. Up to 10 logs can be dragged across the forest with some winches, as two logs can be inserted into the implement directly. But beware, that only works with long and heavy logs, and driving too fast may result in losing them on your way. The, it's a good thing then that the Fanzelt Felix and PM track come with a clam bunk, so you can pick them up again in case you lost them on your way. Then we move on to yarders. Bypass rough terrain with yarders. Yarders are, fun, are, are a fun piece of logging equipment. With the Platinum expansion, we introduced two different kinds of yarders. The Curler K300T and the Curler K307CH. The 300T is a three-point link mounted sort of tower yarder. And the 307C is a trailer, a trailed version, which I assume has got the sort of tower thing that stands up on it. Uh, but won't have to attach that will be a separate entity again until we get more um fact sheets and things there'll probably be some more tomorrow whether that's got its own engine whether that can be left unattended and up or whether you have to, whether you have, to have a tractor attached or not not sure at the moment but i mean it's it's amazing stuff anyway um so they are used to bypass hilly or otherwise impassable terrain and transport logs out of dense woods by using a system of cables to pull logs from their stump to a collection point now we kind of knew a little bit about this before they mentioned about cable yarders we saw a few clips when they did farm con but this goes into a bit more detail in silver run forest you find some pathways that may lead you to places that can serve as um, said collection points or just for you to cr create your own wherever you want it's up to you you can move logs via yarders up or downhill the Kola k 302 t can drag your logs upwards over a span of 500 metres, 1,650 feet. The collection point must be above the area where you want to harvest. The Kola k 307 ch is more flexible and can move both ways. It spans 840 metres, 2,750 feet. Place your yarder at the chosen collection point and grab a rope from the implement. With the rope in hand, you move to the location in the forest where you want to harvest trees. Find a sturdy tree to attach the rope to. If you aim at a suitable tree, it is indicated that you can attach the other end of the rope to it. Now you have a straight line of rope cable that spans between the collection point and the harvesting area. Now you can see the carriage appearing so that you can cut logs. You can send the carriage on its way or make it follow you so it's always right behind you. Attach a cut log from the harvesting area to the carriage by grabbing a rope. If attached, you can send the carriage on its way or make it follow you if you're on the way to the collection point anyway. I mean, <laughs> so, winches, cable yarders. And the screenshots look amazing. But it doesn't end there. So, 
fill your containers. Oh yes, shipping containers. It says, yay, containers. To ship your carefully harvested logs in high quantities, you can now use shipping containers. Use them to transport and sell them. They come in three different sizes, 12 meters, 40 feet, 9 meters, 30 feet, or 6 meters, 20 feet long. Using an excavator like the Volvo EC250DL or the EC380DL, and look at that picture, it looks brilliant. Or other heavy machinery, it's up to you. You load them by lifting the logs and driving them to the open side of the container. Make sure, make sure they fit the size of the container. Obviously don't try and put a 12 meter log into a 6 meter container, it's not going to work. The length of the log should be as close as possible to the length of the container. Too long, they won't fit. Too short, you will gain less money. So don't waste that precious space in those containers. Now, where it's saying about this, um, ship your carefully harvested logs in high quantities. Now, I don't know whether or not there's going to be a bonus thing, like with production chains, in that if you've taken the time to load up a container of logs rather than just put them into a, a, the log carriage on the train or take them by lorry or whatever, whether there'll be a bonus payment. It says too short, you'll gain less money. That could just be based upon the length of logs as it is in-game at the moment. Um, don't waste precious space. Now, obviously, the next question on from that is going to be asked. That's all well and good, provided the logging um, parameters, the logging dynamics have been changed. And I know there's going to be a big update before this all comes out because logging is the big change as part of the Platinum expansion. It's been since FS15. It hasn't had a major update. This is the big update for logging. So potentially the dynamics and physics of it will have been changed. Looking at the pictures there of the Volvo excavator, heavy machinery loading onto the, the container, it looks like there's no gaps, which sometimes you get a bit of gap in when you're putting stuff in. Also, you get that jostling of logs. Whether that will happen or not, I don't know. You know, again, we will see as we move forward. Using a wheel loader, like the Volvo L180H with a pallet fork attachment, you can unload the shipping containers. This is the whole concept of this is just mind-boggling. Um, you can unload the shipping containers in the designated area of a factory or load them onto the train to sell them. So you can either take them to a particular place at a in a logging area or onto the train to send them off on their way. So, huh, winches, cable yarders, shipping containers. I mean, look at that picture with the Volvo, that trailer, that train car behind it. Trying to see what that is. It's interesting because with silver uncoming, there's also iron ore in a degree for, for doing metal work, for doing the shipbuilding. And I'm wondering whether you're going to be able to transport some of that on the train as well. Potentially. Anyway, the Platinum Expansion and Platinum Edition, the base game and expansion, release on November the 15th for PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. If you haven't got the season pass yet, it's, you can still get it. And obviously there's the Antonio Carrera pack, the Kubota pack, the Vermeer pack, and then there'll be the Platinum Expansion. I would honestly say, from what we've seen so far from the Silver on Forest stuff that's been released, from some of the new things that are going to be available, from what we're seeing now for the amount of vehicles that are going to be released as well, and the big upgrade to, to um, Forestry, I think the Season Pass is worth every penny. Just for the Platinum expansion, it's worth the money, without the other stuff as well, I think, personally. The Kubota, pa the Kubota pack brought us the ability to um, have passengers as well, if you've got the Kubota pack. There's a whole lot of stuff that went with it. Anyway, so if you haven't got it, you still can get it. Logging may not be your thing, but potentially with all the new machinery and equipment coming with this, there could be a whole raft of other things you can do with it, not necessarily just that. Um, but there you go. That's it for the blog post. That's it for the visuals. Um, log transport on the Platinum Expansion. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.